Welcome to the vault. This is where we do some straight up coin collecting. I am Tripwire and we are doing coin roll hunting today. That is correct. We're trying to get money raised for uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And we got about five rolls of coins that we're going to be looking at today. We got some pennies, some nickels, and a roll of quarters. But uh, before we do anything, we are going to kick things off. We're going to be doing the worldwide coinage first. Then we're going to worry about the donation money. But right now, I need to worry about a beverage because this is something I've been wanting to try for quite some time. This is Black. Black Rifle Coffee Company, Espresso 3,000. Now, they, a lot of people saying how great their coffee is. I've never had this. It's the first time I've ever had uh, Black Rifle. But let's see if it lives up to the hype. Strong. Very strong. Very good. That's the way I like my coffee, exactly like that. I could practically chew it. That's how strong this coffee is. So, yeah, if you like strong, Black Rifle, you know, check them out. This is really, really good. But anyhow, let's jump into some worldwide coinage. All right, we have our bag of worldwide coins here. I'm going to draw four at random, not even looking at them. This is what I'm going to be looking at next week. Now, I know it's been a little bit. There we go. Boom. We got those five right there. We're going to be looking at those. Let me zoom this up so you guys can get a good look at them. You will see these next week. These are next week's coins. We need to figure out the coins that we had last week. We need to, or two weeks ago. Something like that. I believe it was two weeks ago. Either way, we're looking at worldwide coins. That's all there is to it. This one here is from Mexico. It's in 1971. And this is one peso. It is made out of copper nickel in good condition, 10 cents, uncirculated, 66 cents. So, as a cool corner, I really, I really dig the dude on the front. He wears skull caps just like me. So, you know, he's got good taste in fashion. <laughs> Anyhow, this over here, this is from the Netherlands, 1975. This is a five cent, five cent piece right here. It's made out of bronze in good condition. Five cents and uncirculated one dollar and seventy cents. So that's wicked cool. I like that coin. Third coin up on the list is boom. This beat up old. Looks like somebody was using it for target practice. This is from Mexico. This is actually 1956. A twenty centavos and in uh, made out of bronze in good condition. Fifteen cents uncirculated. Two dollars and ten cents. Well, we know it's definitely not uncirculated. I'm pretty sure I'll take that one to the bank. Yep. Put my money that's not uncirculated. <laughs> Here we go. Some more words I can't pronounce. Um, Austria, 1980. This is a 50 groschen. G-R-O-S-C-H-E-N. I probably mutilated that, but groschen... <laughs> Either way, it is made out of aluminum and bronze in good condition. It is four cents and extra fine condition, 23 cents. So, boom, there we go. Now we're going to get into the fun stuff. There, let's do that. Oh, really quick, before I forget, because I know me, I will forget. Uh, Starries. Uh, there was a coin that we cannot figure out, and I do, I'm horrible with remembering, but thank you so much for the information, you guys that watch the show. Um, that coin is from Taiwan. It's a 1954 five cent J O J I A O. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Made out of aluminum bronze in good condition, 22 cents, uncirculated, one dollar. That was the mystery coin from last week. Thank you so much for all the information. You guys really helped me out on that one. That was really cool. So here we go. Boom. We're gonna check out some penny rolls first. Let's pull this back. I do have some announcements I'm going to be making while we're doing some coins. A whole bunch of things going down, but that's all we do here is we always got something going on. And the one thing that we don't have going on is that it doesn't want to come out of a wrapper. That's the problem. They wrap these things tight. Anyhow, uh, come out. Okay, here we go. Let's zoom in upon this. Any coin I want to keep for my collection, I got to put up the value of the coin. And that's definitely nothing. And I do thank you all very much for watching here. Watching any of the shows here at Straight Up Mail Detecting, including The Vault, including Straight Up Mail Detecting, including uh, all the other stuff that I do. 1982D. Yes, I do hold those. Boom. We've got inside jobs on the show. We have uh, first hole hunts here. 
cooking with Trip Warrior on occasion. So I do thank you very, very much for checking out all the shows here. If you have any suggestions for any of them, throw it in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to give it a shot. I'll try anything as long as it's legal. If you got some coin pictures that you want to, or some coins you want to look up, just send me a picture at my email address. If you need my email address, just throw it in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to send me the pictures. And I will do my best to get the info out to you. Or if you got some coins that you just want to show off, just send me some pictures and I will work them into the show. You can show everybody all the cool coins that you found. Awesomeness. We're getting some good copper, and copper's five tons of coins, so we're doing good so far. But anyhow, as for some announcements. Okay, uh, tomorrow I will be on Digging Canucks channel at 3 o'clock for some live coin roll hunting. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I am going to manage to sneak in a giveaway. You can definitely guarantee that stickers and magnets are going to be in the giveaway. But I don't know what else I'm going to be throwing in. But those are two for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing the giveaway. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I believe she's doing a giveaway too. So I'm gonna talk with Liz, the Crown Jewel of Canada. So I have an idea. I'll run it by her first, and if she says cool, we'll do it. Boom! More copper. Copper is going always in my collection. I gotta put up the fit. Well, technically these are still a penny, but I just put five cents on them. Right? This would be five cents. Uh, I go because it's the copper that I'm looking at, not the value of the coin. Boom. So that's the first thing. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Check it out. Uh, ask any questions you want. I'll be more than happy to talk coins with you. It's going to be a lot of fun. Some other things that we got going on. Over here at Straight Up Mail Detecting. 1960. Um, let's see. Later on that evening, on the 12th, which is, uh, Liz comes on at 3. Then Canuck is on at 3. We'll be doing the coin roll hunting. But we're going to have an after party. Absolutely. We're going to have an after party. We're going to have an ELS. The electric live stream will be on same day, uh, November 12th, Saturday at 7 o'clock. 100% uncensored. Your discretion is advised. Yes, I will have, uh, Marlon will be on the show. We're going to party. I'm going to hang out because I had a good coin roll hunting show, hopefully. Boom. Okay, there's our first roll of pennies. So, yeah, we're going to have an after party. Then on November 25th, November 25th at 7 o'clock, we got a Bob Ross coin giveaway. I know you guys don't want to miss that. That's on the 25th of November, Friday, 7 o'clock. You must be in chat to win. Keep that in mind. I got called out on that once, and I did humbly apologize. But yeah, you gotta be in chat to win. What is the giveaway? Well, you gotta tune in to find out, because I don't have it ready yet. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. And I'm pretty sure you guys are not surprised at that. <laughs> 81. Nice. What's this? 2000. No. I'm looking for any copper coins, wheat pennies. It's all gonna add up in the end. Boom. What do we got? 1988. I know I say this every single time. Try not to keep it too long. I always end up keeping it too long. Try my best. Oops. Nope. 1979. That's some copper. Boom. The reason why I like doing charity stuff like this in November. Anybody can... I mean, I literally can easily just whip out my checkbook and cut them a check. Where's the fun in that? It's kind of boring. That's why I like to do this for St. Jude's. Because then it varies every year. I don't know. If we break last year, last year's record, I believe we were $600. So if we, if we break that, I'll be amazed. Well, 2022, don't need that for the collection. No. Let's see here, 19. Ooh, we're, we're racking in some copper today. I'm happy about that. My, my my bank account's not happy about it because I got to pay for all. <laughs> nah, it's cool. It's a game I love to play. Seventy six more copper. We're gonna do a roll of nickels next, then we're gonna end the show with a roll of quarters. Now this is a uh, up in the air still. For those of you that live in America, you know what Black Friday is—the day after Thanksgiving. 
I may be doing a live stream because I will be out metal detecting on uh, Black Friday. I do it every single year, and it's called the Ultimate Revenge. And the way it works is that I go out to a place that I went to once before and I did horribly at. But this time I hunt the crap out of it. <laughs> the first coin that I find out of the ground, $10 goes to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Every single coin I find after that will be $1. Even if it's a penny, I'm still putting up a dollar. That's how that works. Now here's the kicker. If I find anything tab related, as in tab cola, diet cola from the 70s, all I need to do is find one bottle cap. I will donate $100. I have yet to find anything that has to do with tab. So that's a little bet I made with myself. Don't need that. Don't need that. So is it going to be a live stream? Will I be live? I don't know. You guys are going to have to stay tuned to the channel to find out. I will put out a uh, little news report because it's up in the air right now. Because lately my live streams out in the wild are not good. All right, we're going to jump into a uh, roll of nickels here. We're basically at the 10 minute mark, and I don't want to keep everybody too long. Come on. I can't open rolls today. The rolls are arguing with me like crazy. Boom, there we go. Finally, it took long enough. See if we could find a nickels. 2009 would be awesome. That is not awesome. 2003. Nope. Like, I, I, I hold the uh, 2004s, 2005s for sure. 1960s I hold. Uh, she's, she's a beat up the heck up. So those are the ones I'm hunting for. And of course, Buffalo Nichols. Of course, Buffalo. What are the chances? Believe it or not, I have found Buffalo Nichols in rolls. Also, keep my eyes on the 2009s. 2004, there's a... Uh, Five cents right there. There's a nickel right there. Boom. There we go. Ba -ba -ba. 2007. And so those are the shows that we have coming up. Looking forward to it. 1964. I do hold the 60s. Therefore, if it goes to my collection, I gotta put up the value, even though that's only a nickel. It's going to be another nickel lesson. We're 10 cents more for charity, which is awesome. Well, we have to not 20. You know, I'm debating on whether I am going to have any topics this week. I think the best thing that we need to do is focus on just coin roll hunting so we can get this money going. I think that would be best. We just do coin roll hunting all week. See, there's 15 cents. It all adds up, believe it or not. All it takes is one good coin. And, whoa, there you go. I have been trying my best to find you guys half dollars, and they are eluding me big time. Those are hard to come by. But I'm not giving up. 2004, there's another one. So we got 20 cents right there. Nice. This series. Oh, oh, there we go. 2005. 25 cents. I love 2005. My favorite nickel. I'm sure you guys are tired about tired of me talking about that nickel, right? We know, TW. We know. Shut up. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Last one we're going to do is a roll of quarters. Of course, you can find a lot of stuff in, too. Maybe we'll find another Bob Ross coin. Yeah, there we are. Let's see what we got here. Flip it upside down. 2020. Is it a W? No, it's a P. Oh, well. Let's see what do we have here? Nope. 1998. Don't need that. Nope. Don't need that one. Let's see. We're off to a kind of a boring start here. Hopefully, I'll pick up with something. Ohio. No, don't need Ohio. I also hold, like, Homestead Quarters and Wisconsin Quarters. So if we run into some of those, I hold those because of errors. 66. Well, I owe another quarter. I hold 60s. Keep that in mind. 
at the end of this, uh, I'll give you guys a uh, wrap up. Oh, another 1968 on how much I, how much we're donating this week. Well, that 2017. That's 90. Boom. 2020. P. Not quite. And one letter off. Man. Somebody really didn't like these cards. They keep beating the crap out of them. Nevada. Nope. Wrong way. Minnesota. Nope. Florida. Uh, 65. You have to find the silver. 93. I'm probably. 2015. Nope. 2021. Nope. Oh, the 2022, the last coin just got released. Uh, something Wong. I can't remember if it's Amy Wong or something like that. Yeah, it got released on the 25th, so it's going to be coming your way soon. Keep an eye on your pocket change for the last uh, uh, backing. Oh, everybody, everybody, repeat after me. Hate that coin. What sucks is that it hit the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's very impressive sound, wasn't it? Good. I should start buying glasses, and any time I get that coin to store a glass, that'd be awesome. But it'd be very messy, and I don't want to do it. 73. Nope, we're getting there. Boom. 68. All right. There you are. I hold 60s. Oops. I also knocked into cameras. Oh, okay. Her. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to keep this one because it is a 2022. It is the beginning of the series. I will keep that for the collection. I will put a quarter up on that. And this one here is 2020. Is it a W? No, it's a P. Got a dollar left, guys. Wisconsin. We, we're starting to pull them out. Wisconsin. Air coins. Possible air coins. Love it. 77. 95. Last coin. Boom. Boom. Oh, it could be a P. It could be a W. But it's not. All right. These are the coins that I pulled out for my collection. I have put up the value of the coins. Um, we got a dollar in pennies, uh, 25 cents in nickels, and a dollar 50 in coins. I just checked what I had in quarters. Sorry. Just checked what I had. I just round stuff up. It's a lot easier for me. So we're just going to do five. Boom. There's five dollars for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And this concludes another edition of The Vault. I thank you all very much for watching. Do not forget, tomorrow, you gotta check out Liz's channel at 3 o'clock. We're going to be doing some live stream coin roll hunting. It's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. And then, of course, as I said earlier, we've got a bunch of shows coming up, including Vault. The Bob Ross Coin Giveaway is going to be on November 25th at, that's a Friday, at 7 o'clock. We also got two electric live streams coming up. That's going to be on November 12th, which is the party that we're going to throw afterwards, and also the 29th. So once again, I thank you very much for watching. Keep in mind that if you are a coin collector, you are never broke. We'll see you again next week. Y'all take care. Later.